Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the garage. We've uh, just completed our 48 hour battery DIY battery box build, which is the reason we are here in this location today. We've also just returned from a lacquer weekend away in the Bavianskloof, where we got to test out the Rentec PPS 750. PPS stands for Portable Power Supply. What makes this unit very cool, a lot more modern over traditional dual battery systems, battery boxes and batteries, is that this little beauty is a lithium ion battery. It's a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Basically what that means, it's a constant supply of electricity, not like you would with normal AGM or gel batteries, where sometimes, you know, once you switch it on, you'll get a little spike. A pure sine wave inver inverter means that it's a constant supply of electricity electricity at the same value. What the Rentec portable power supply is, is in essence it's a lithium ion battery that you can use to take with you camping, caravanning, 4 x 4 ing It has so many applications. I've even used it in the home during load shedding. Luckily in Cape Town we only get two hours of load shedding but when things get really bad, because let's be honest load shedding is going to be here for during my lifetime. So what this does is it enables you to either power your laptops, your patio lights, your compressors when you're going off-road. It's just a lot easier to walk around, you know, each one of your tires of your vehicle with a portable power supply, deflating your tires depending on if you are driving over rocks, sand, mud, wherever you're going. So when we took this out into the Bavion's Cliff, it was very cool. We were able to keep all of our goodies cold and cool throughout the trip, though what I would recommend is that if you do get this unit, they do have an optional upgrade, which is the solar panels, which is, which would be this cable over here. I'll show you that in a second. But first, I want to tell you more a bit about this, this unit. It retails for roughly about 10,000 Rand. We've just finished our DIY battery box build. It more or less the cost that we used in the equipment that we purchased to put it all together it came to roughly the same price. This is just a plug and play system. It's a whole lot easier um, for those people who just want to pay the money and um, get, the, get the top of the range. And it's a lithium ion battery. One of the huge benefits of lithium ion batteries, there's a couple of schools of thought in this. If you're using a traditional AGM battery or lead acid battery or gel battery, some of the people that I have met on my excursions, they do tell me that you shouldn't be distracted charging the battery more than 50%, otherwise you do start to cause harm to the battery. This is the lead acid batteries. But with uh, lithium ion batteries, you can discharge your battery right up until about 80% for, or, and, or even further than that, and you can charge it to 100% full capacity again. So that is why lithium ion batteries do trump lead acid batteries. And I think on the warranty card, they say that you can get roughly about 1,500, more than 1,500 uses from this little unit. For about 10 grand, I, that's a bargain for me. I'm gonna bring you in to show you how it works and some of the accessories that our unit came with. It can be delivered anywhere in South Africa. Um, this unit is distributed by a company called Energy Independence, which is, you know, Rentec South Africa. It's available for most of your dealerships. Um, otherwise, you know, if you want to order yours or you want to confirm pricing or any other application, there should be a link below this video, which you can just click on that link, go to our website, sa4r4.co.za. You can find more information there if you need. I'll show you some of the cables that we were supplied with in the box. This is your solar cable over here. As you can see, I like to keep my cables wrapped up and tight <laughs> just so that I can easily find them. This is what will plug into the actual unit here. I'll put the unit on its side so you can have a look down in here. It'll tell you exactly where everything goes. So the top bit of this unit, this line here, are your AC inputs and your solar inputs. So we've got a charger here that you can plug it off your AC mains off your home. It roughly recharges in about two to three hours. Uh, two to three hours you can charge this battery to full. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push and hold this unit. There you go. And that means the unit is switched on and you can see it's got a very cool LED indicator which shows you how many cells in the lithium ion battery are left, what the power output consumption is. So, well not what it is or how much it's using by a little diagram. So what it has here is you've got your AC output. If I click on the switch here, you'll see that LED will light up red. It'll show me that one unit is connected to this portable power supply. And you'll see is that little wheel on the left-hand side there um, starts to go clockwise. That's the power draining out. And if I show you a little bit below here, this is our National Lunar Twin Compartment Fridge Freezer, 90 liter 
for touring French. So as you can see, it's 26 degrees in South Africa today. It is a very hot one. I'm really feeling it in the garage, but you can see, you can set the, how far you want your fridge and freezer to go. There it's set to minus five. They'll slowly start climbing down to that. That's in the fridge freezer. I just have to wait for that light to stop blinking before I'm able to set the fridge. That's obviously what we set our freezer at. Uh, fridge, there we go to about three degrees. So it's nice and cool. It'll keep your lamb chops, your burro uh, your cold drinks very cold in the bush. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, a winner. If you come back up to me over here, I'll show you some more of the supplies that this unit has. So as I showed you, it came with a solar unit so that you can run off solar. This is, so you can, this little cable over here, if you look up towards me, this little cable enables you to charge the Rentec portable power supply while you are driving to your destination, if you're going on game drives, if you're out in the bush, or just, you know, if you've left campsite for the day and you just want to make sure that your fridge comes with you. Obviously, theft is a big thing, <laughs> but you can use this cable to charge the portable power supply via your car without doing any damage to it because as your car is fitted with an alternator, the alternator charges your battery, it also powers the internal electronics of the car and you can use this to, to power your Rentec. This is the AC power supply over here that I've taken out for you. As you can see, I wanted this video to be as authentic as possible. So we are not running on any other power today using the AC or the house's power supply. Everything that you see, the video that we're shooting is being powered off the Rentec portable power supply. You can see on the side here of where it plugs in, there you can plug it in there and there's no mistake on left and right uh, because the plugs are, you'll see one is more squarish of a plug and rounded, so you just plug it in there and this little power, uh, this will start to recharge the unit. What's very cool about this, this little uh, inverter is that it's got, when it's busy charging, the LED light will be red and once it's fully charged and you're looking it can be green it's got five volts two amps uh, quick charge it's also got five volt one amp quick charge as well these different variables that you see on the side here just matter on how quickly you want to charge your devices some things like recorders what else microphones cameras cell phones tablets if you want to charge them up really really quickly you plug in the top one because that's 2.4 amps so you're looking at if you've got a samsung galaxy tablet or any tablet or kindle and you just want to charge it quickly as quick as possible you can just plug it in the front it's all usb that's your input for your solar panels this is your input if you're going to plug it in from the car and obviously here's just a little surge protector plug which enables you to plug up to two devices into the power supply if you want if you focus back up here I'm just going to put this on its side here so you can get a look at the unit. Some more benefits of this unit, it only weighs seven and a half kilograms, which is super light. There you go. It is a lot lighter than traditional lead acid or AGM batteries or gel batteries for that matter. It's also fitted with a three watt LED light in the front. There you go, so you can have a little look and see at that. And to put it into perspective of how long this lithium ion battery can power your gadgets for, this little three watt light in the front here, it can power that, you can leave it on for 230 hours, which is a long time. But let's be honest, you wouldn't actually use it for that. If you've got a 75 inch TV and a decoder, if you're sitting at home and ESCOM decides to pull the plug on your electricity, you should be able to power your DSTV decoder and your 75 inch OLED or LED TV for up to, I think it's about six hours, uh, just over six hours. If you've got an outside patio area like I do, I normally run that when it's load shedding so that I can bry and I can still see, it's just a lot easier. That sort of runs for about seven and a half hours. In terms of watt hours, it's 786 watt hours that you can because it's a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter with 2500 watts sort of surge power that's what you would plug onto your terminals of your car if you needed to jump start your car but in terms of what this unit can do yeah i mean it's fridges it's lights it's laptops it's compressors it's dstvs i did actually venture off into um <laughs> off the grid camping in the northern cape uh, one of the weekends i met a, a very nice gentleman there called Hart. And while we, while you look at wild camping, you don't look at bumping into to fellow campers. I did uh, manage to sit down with him and he was off his home system. He was running off a TV and a DSTV. We were, we 
were able to watch the Stormers and the Bulls game, um, which is quite nice when you're in the bush. So yeah, this unit can really do it all. Highly recommended. If you want pricing, click on the link below. Otherwise, if you want to see what it entails to do a DIY battery box build yourself, you are going to be in for roughly the same, if not more, but that does come with its uh, its own set of pros and cons. But for now, I'd like to say thank you very much for Energy Independence and Neil from uh, from Rentex South Africa to say thank you for letting us try out this unit. I'm not sure if this unit will get lost in the mail uh, when I return it, but yeah, for what it is, it's absolutely great. It's got camping uses, home uses, 4x4 uses. If you're sitting in the bush and you want to watch a movie in your laptop in your rooftop tent, you know, this doesn't give off any emissions. It's so light, it's so easy to charge, so easy to use, nice LED indicator. Yeah, it basically ticks all the boxes. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you've got any comments, please post them below. And we'll do our best to get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Otherwise, there should be a link where you can get in touch with the, uh, the gentleman that supplied us with these units and that sells them throughout South Africa. Can be delivered to your door. It'll be in the, the link will be in the description below too. Thank you very much.